and I'm Kelly Chapman. We start quick cast with breaking news tonight. The NBA has suspended its season after Rudy Gobert with the Utah Jazz tested positive for COVID-19. The Jazz were just about to start their away game tonight against the Oklahoma City Thunder, but it was right before tip off. They postponed the game and suspended the NBA season. The Jazz did not mention Gobert by name, but they said they found out a player tested positive for COVID-19 right before tip off tonight. Gobert was not at the arena at the time and was listed as sick earlier. Fox 13 spoke with jazz beat writer for the Salt Lake Tribune, Andy Larson, about what happened. The Athletic was reporting that he actually felt well enough to play before the game. It was just kind of a matter of how this test turned out. And it seems that with, you know, under the abundance of caution, they didn't play the game. And now it, it turned out that that caution was warranted, that he's, he's tested positive. The governor's office says they are working closely with the CDC and the NBA to gather more information. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. Tonight, President Donald Trump made that announcement to the nation. He says the restriction does not include travel from and to the United Kingdom. The ban does go into effect Friday at midnight. In his speech from the Oval Office, the president indicated there would be financial assistance available to industries adversely affected by COVID-19. The illness is now reaching into Hollywood. Actors Tom Hanks and his wife Rita Wilson tweeted from Australia tonight saying they have both tested positive for coronavirus. The tweet goes on to say they'll be quarantined and that they'll keep everyone posted. We're learning the lieutenant governor could make a big announcement in the morning about how Utah's colleges and universities are responding to COVID-19. Universities like the University of Utah could be moving toward canceling all in-person classes for the remainder of the semester. The students found out about this potential news the same day after the Utah Department of Health announced a Summit County man younger than 60 tested positive for COVID-19 after traveling to Austria. My first thought was like, how do I keep an A and how do I pass my classes? A lot of my classes are more studio based, so I'm not quite sure how they're going to work out. The University of Utah says they will make an announcement at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning about their exact plan. We will keep you updated tomorrow on Good Day Utah. The legislature is extending the state of emergency for Utah in response to the coronavirus. In a late night vote, the House approved Clearfield Representative Paul Ray's bill. This extend it through June 30th. That way we don't have to come back into a special session, especially if you're in a pandemic. The last thing you want to do is bring everybody back to the Capitol building. So we can renew that on in the June interim if we just determine to do that. The legislature has also set aside $16 million for the Utah Department of Health to respond to COVID-19. The federal government awarded Utah $6.4 million. COVID-19 has prompted the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to close all of the sessions of April's General Conference to the public next month. The move will impact 100,000 people who come to the sessions in Salt Lake City. Church leadership will instead present the sessions on the internet and on television. The fear of traveling right now due to COVID-19 could be impacting Utah businesses. With conventions coming to the Valley being canceled, most patrons won't be traveling here to spend money in downtown Salt Lake City. Entertainment venues are experiencing mis mixed results as well, expressing worry if artists cancel in the future. I mean, it would be devastating for us. I mean, the, the guests are, are the lifeblood of our business. Those with the Downtown Alliance believe Salt Lake City will have to depend on local and regional travel to continue to help drive downtown economy. If you have concerns about the coronavirus, you can call the COVID-19 Utah hotline. It's a free call. The number is there on your screen. There are many other resources and stories about COVID-19 on our website, fox13now.com. Also, a brand new navigation tab right at the top of the page will take you directly to a case tracker map. Utah Department of Health updates as well, ways to stop the spread of the virus, and more on the outbreak. This coming Friday night, Fox 13 News and our parent company Scripps will present a half-hour special report on coronavirus. You will find reliable facts about the virus, how it's spread, and also how to protect you and your family. That's this Friday night at 930. 
That does it for this special edition of the Fox 13 Quick Cast. Again, everyone, please stay safe. If you have questions, you can find a lot of answers and more stories on our website, fox13now.com. Good night. Modern Family starts now.